Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Alls for RTG. And yesterday, we made the biggest purchase so far in the series. Team of the Year, 99 rated Messi. And I'm gonna get straight into it. On your screen, like six, seven, maybe eight games in Division One, scoring some nice goals with the card. But I wanna give you my honest opinions as to what I think's changed, what he's offering, and is it a major upgrade on what we already had? Because originally, it was the Doc in the cam position, five-star weak foot. Then we upgraded to Team of the Year, Kevin De Bruyne, five-star weak foot. So going from those guys that are giving us like that varied attack, left, right, doesn't make any difference. Whereas we bring in someone with four star, four star, that's when you find yourself like forcing it over to their weak foot and it is going to change the way you play. Now in the Messi's defense yesterday, I didn't properly test his right foot. I was just focusing so much on just dribbling and creating that angle for either the finesse or to shoot across goal. Because what he likes to do is favor to keep taking it with the left. So outside of the foot trait, lovely animations. His finishing is top class. The dribbling, wonderful animations. Uh, the pace is just insane. Like he's very, very, very good. But I don't know if like my style on the game has changed to the point where I'm so dependent on having that five star weak foot in the attack. Or it might just be the case of me adjusting to these types of players. Now what I was thinking, which would be maybe a little bit of a waste putting like a 3.6 million coin player as a right attacking mid. But look at Bernardo Silva. Like he is very similar to Messi, while Messi's on another level to Bernardo Silva. And look how I use that guy with a lack of weak foot. I have him as a right attacking mid, drifting inside, and that is suited for how I've set out my squad. So if we're really wanting to get the most out of Messi and not really um, tamper with our starting 11 too much, I feel like Messi right attacking mid, find a middle cam with 5 star, 5 star, and build the team around that. Would that be a waste though? It wouldn't, in my opinion, because that's how I would play, but spending 3.6 million on someone that is pushed out wide it, with the squad that we've got doesn't really seem like um, a good idea. But Messi is wonderful, really am enjoying the card. I'm gonna give him more of a go today, uh, take a few more shots on that right and see how consistent he is. Because the way he's playmaking, um, I don't really notice like much of a difference between Messi's passing to Kevin De Bruyne's. Maybe KDB actually edges it slightly. I don't know if they've given him some hidden stats, but it doesn't feel like a downgrade. Uh, all that I see is pace increase, dribbling increase, and the shooting is about the same when I get them uh, on their preferred foot. Well, then KDB's got a five star, five star. But anyway, boys, I've got some future star stuff to go over as well, and I do want to play a couple of games with uh, Messi today. Just like I say, test that right foot and see if he can make our weekly side. But if you are enjoying this series, boys, leave a like. If we can aim for 2,000, that would be amazing. And if you're wanting game codes, G2 is your place. Link can be found below. Use the code Fuji for a discount. So let's get into it. So after yesterday's draft, I did play another one. I won it, eh? But I didn't make any coins. So that was kind of pointless. But Wijnaldum, once again, he popped up. Not the headliner version, just the inform. And I was playing the 4-3-3 CDM two center mids. And he was up and down the pitch like a yo-yo. I don't know what they've done to him on this latest patch. But he is feeling so much better than before. So if he does pop up, Give him a go. But Future Stars, it has been confirmed. Not this team, by the way, this is my prediction. But Future Stars for Friday, one of the best promos FIFA has to offer. And all of these players, if they do receive one, are gonna get in-game cards. Now, something that you might wanna think about is how are you gonna get chemistry with these players? Let's take Mason Greenwood, for example. Very nice base to receive like a big upgrade. Six foot two, so he's got the height, he's got the weak foot, skill moves, uh, I mean, is what it is. But medium, medium work rate, so he's gonna wanna hold on to the play a little bit more, bring in other strikers if you're playing him in like a 4 one 2 one 2 But Rashford has received an inform. So will Rashford go up in price? Like that could be a really nice investment to get that perfect link into Greenwood. So he'd be amazing. Gel Felix is gonna be stupidly expensive because if you think about it like this, not only does he get good chemistry to Ron Ronaldo, like a team of the Ronaldo, but he links to Bernardo Silva, he links to Messi, De Jong, like this guy is going to be a similar price to remember Vinicius Jr. He was like 1.5 mil plus. So with the five star skills, four star weak foot, you know they're going to go crazy with this upgrade. Lutero Martinez, 
The one thing that I'm excited about his upgrade, if you were to receive a future stars, one of the informs or team of the group stage versions was showing signs of a very, very good striker. All that he needs is a little bit more on the dribbling and a bit more pace because the finishing was there. So he is going to be amazing. Haaland, I'm actually scared for this card. Ratings refresh, maybe a week for upgrade as well, skill moves. And you're going to give him like 95 plus pace. Like this is going to be a mad, mad card, Haaland. Um, who else would I like to use? Oh, Tornali. I know he's received the league SBC, but come on, give him a bit more of a boost. Go on, like give him 90 odd pace in that CDM position. So although we've made the purchase of Messi, which I think is fine, um, what that does is it forces me to lock in coins so then I don't waste them. Because you know what I'm like on the RTG, when I have like 2 million, 3 million, I start buying players and losing coins on tax. So I like to make big purchases, so all of them are locked in. Uh, but with this center back, right? Oh my, already on his base version, he has 80 pace. So you're telling me he's gonna receive 90 pace? Will he be quicker than Virgil van Dijk team of the year? If that's the case, you can understand why this promo is gonna be massive. These guys on the bench, like although Martinelli, I know that a lot of you guys will say he's gonna get 100%, but two star, two star, that is awful. Yes, he'd be probably overpriced for that reason, but I'm not gonna get him. Uh, Dan James could be good with the four star, we for three star skill moves. Uh, Hudson Adoy, I guess. Wan Bissaka, I know that he's received like an inform and one to watches, so. Um, that's just my take on a few players that I'd like uh, to see in the lineup, especially uh, Tierney because he hasn't uh, received any special cards and his regular doesn't really get used too much. And high tie work rates, I really like that on a fullback. So if there are any ones, and I probably have missed out quite a few, which ones would you like to see? Um, put them in the comment section. But the promo is gonna be big, starts this Friday. Uh, will I have coins? What what shall I do? Because tomorrow we have foot champ rewards. I've got 100K pack coming from uh, division rivals. I might take untradeable. Untradeable division rivals reward. So I've got two 100k packs or ultimate packs. I've got the 100k pack from Elite 2. Oh, should I save those for Friday or should I open them and just get together some coins? I don't know. But anyway, boys, um, let's go to the team. I'm going to play a couple of games with Messi and test out the right foot today. And then, yeah, tomorrow we've got Food Channel Rewards. So I know that some of you boys right now will be typing away in the comment section, Yo, Food, sell Messi. He's not good for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not good for me. He is good. Seven games, eight goals. Doesn't look amazing, but you've got to keep in mind that I'm in Division 1. Whereas before, if I was testing out players, I was in like Division 4 or 5. So it's tough, man. And I don't want to play Divisions right now. I'm not in the mood. It's actually making me like not enjoy the game. I don't mind like one or two days during the week playing in Divisions. But oh, it's too sway, man. Like the, the games are pretty dry because all that you're going to be coming up against... Part of the bus, overload ball side, and it's tough. It's really, really difficult to create chances. For me personally, because I'm not at that top, top level to be able to blitz past everyone. But with the way Messi's playing, I'm gonna be trying to figure out where would he best be played. Is it middle cam in a 4-2-3-1? Is it striker? Is it right attacking mid? I'm gonna find the way, and it's gonna work. So let's get into max chemistry, boys, because I still haven't uh, fixed my squad. I was using Gabriel Jesus yesterday before subbing him out. Uh, he's not bad, actually. He's kind of playable, but not at that level that I want. So Messi's right foot. That's what we're gonna focus on today. On the edge of the box, inside the box, Let's keep banging them. So we found a game, and like I just mentioned, focus on Messi's right, not left. I want to practice with that and see how consistent it really is. Because I haven't tried it. Like, I haven't given him the chance to prove himself. I've just made up my mind, like, it's an issue. Let's test it. Uh, right now, he's starting as a left, or oh, sorry, right attacking mid, because I haven't changed my... Oh my god, man, he was about to turn up there, I swear, I was going to score a montage goal. Oh, KDB, which version is that? See, I don't know what team these guys use. Uh, it's like blind date. You go into a game and you're not knowing uh, what you're facing up against. Until you get bad. Oh, that's a good play. What a save from, hey! Oh, what a save from Oblak, though. That was insane. Yes, Oblak stays. This guy's quite good for max chemistry. Like, there aren't really any casual games at all. It's just, this isn't as difficult as Division 1, though. Well, I don't know. I'm struggling right now. This guy ain't missing. He's got Ronaldo and everybody. And he's definitely using overload ball side as well, to be fair. <laughs> oh, these are some sweet games. Am I in Division 1? Maybe. Oh, right. Messi, Messi, Messi. With that weak foot. 
I don't know. It didn't look so good, did it? I'm getting clamped down. Oh, that's nice. Can't say I could have scored with can't say I'm not. Oh, what have I done? I could have scored. I could have scored. But it's not about those guys. It's about this man right here. See what I mean? His right foot is... Oh, it's like a little bit underpowered. It, you don't have that real shot. Nice, Messi, though. Good tracking. Whereas if Messi is like cutting inside similar to Bernardo Silva, I'm not going to have any problems. But then it goes back to the point that I made. Like that's 3.6 mil for a right attacking mid. Like what the hell is that about? That makes any sense. Go on, Messi, though. Good playmaking. Back here. Oh. Good strength. Christ, damn it, David Luiz. That is a red card. You are off. David Luiz completely lost his head. Messi's been doing this quite a bit. It's not even a card. It's not even a card. Oh, you're having a laugh. All right, yeah. How is that not a card? Oh, go on, Messi. Go on, Messi. Oh, uh, but halftime, boys. I could have scored, but I didn't. But now I want one. Let's get it. Oh, good ball. May as well play Division 1 at this rate. This guy's actually quite good. Oh, Messi. Wow. Good play. Manny. <laughs> I can't score. Literally can't score. De Jong. Oh, get it out of your feet. What well a Messi. Oh, that ball. To Sadio Mane. And a cross goal. He can score. Well, especially on his right. A cross goal anyway. I like those shots with Mane. He tried to take me out again. Yo, it, uh, don't you get any cards in friendlies? Nice Cannavaro. Oh, is he just on side? Oh, he is as well. Go back in, go back in, go back in. Oh, lucky old black. God's sake. I think a draw would be fair though. It's been... It just feels like Division 1. Through. Oh, man. It's Smalling. Get him off. I'm sick and tired of seeing these tackles fly in and the referee not doing anything about it. Off. 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 Small Dini. I didn't realize there's extra time in Max Chemistry. We need a winner. And I need to make some subs because Dembele is completely out of it. We've got the man advantage, but we haven't really done much with it. Me oh, that's strength from Messi, though. What? What's that shot? All right, well, that shows the team of the Messi, okay? That, that's game-changing. That shot was a little bit ridiculous. Oh, my God. This game is broken. EA Sports. This game is broken, man. I thought I defended it quite well. I was holding off with Petit, making sure that I didn't overcommit, and yeah, yeah. Yes. Good play. Oh, that is... You are kidding me. I know it's a friendly. Well, Max Chemistry. But this Stanford Luis is getting away with murder. That is another tackle that he's put in and he hasn't even been carded. Is he like immune? That's it. Middle, middle. Messi. Yeah, maybe Messi's better as a striker. And then I can get those through balls. Messi. Right foot. Oh. All right, he's got it, he's got it. Maybe play him as a striker, yes. Then Mane as that middle cam, so he starts overlapping. So Messi holds onto the play, bring Mane in, and then link up like that. Yes, De Jong. One more goal to completely end the game, and it's Lionel Messi on his right. On his... Oh. Okay. Sorry, right, we've got one more chance. Messi on his, on his left. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. It feels really odd, though. Towards the end of the game, I think it's stamina. Um, and it feels really, really dodgy. We can't let him through. Cannavaro, what? No, he scored as well. <laughs> of course he has. Oh, man. So we've got to go pen penalties in max chemistry. What am I witnessing? Just to the... Just, just there, just there, yeah. We'll go right in the middle. All right. Who's that? Costa, Douglas Costa? Mm. All right, all right, all right. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Boom. All right, he's looking at my head, I'm pretty sure. All right, Promes, where are you going? Left, right, middle. To the right, slightly to the right. Oh, man. I'm going to stay in the middle for the next one. I don't care where he's looking. Messi. Oh, Messi. Of all people. No, stay in the middle, stay in the middle. 
Oh, wow. Of all people, Messi missed it. Bernardo. Yes, Bernardo got that. Oh, no, Messi. No, come on. He's not having a good, like, debut for the club. What a save. Acrobatic from Oblak. One's for the camera. Conte. Oh, good lad. Thank you, Conte. Happy for you. Go on, Paulinho. Let's save this. He's going to go left. He hasn't gone left in it. He's choked. It's game over, boys. That was tough. I'm actually sweating, boys. Wow, that took a lot out of me. There was nothing friendly about that friendly match. But with Messi, what did we take away from the game? Well, his right foot is still having some issues with those finesse shots. I wanted like a little bit more consistency. But as the game went on, I switched Messi and Mane. So Messi was acting as that false nine type player, holding on to the play, bringing Mane in. And it did work a lot better. Shooting a cross goal with this right seems quite nice. And he was connecting with a couple. So... What I'm going to be doing from now on is having him as the striker, Mane as the middle cam, and then I'm just going to wait for Mane to overlap, and he will still be technically our striker, um, but then if Messi's through using his strength, powering, like, I think that's going to be very nice on the last man as well. So it's just one of those things that we're trying to figure out what's best for the side. I'm not going to get rid of Messi straight away. Um, he is working. He's a wonderful player. And I think striker is his best position. Now, is Manny going to really be able to step up in that cam position? I don't know. If he doesn't, then I will stick him left attacking mid. I will put... Bernardo Silva right attacking mid, Messi striker, and find a new cam after the weekend league rewards, which will be tomorrow. Or maybe someone from future stars that just looks incredible, we can bring them in as well. So we do have the coins um, in Cannavaro. We can sell him and, and fall back to um, somebody else. I, I don't really want to get rid of Cannavaro, though. I want to get rid of Petit. That's, that's the main man. Otherwise, if I get rid of Cannavaro, who is quality... What does that mean for our defense? We've gone backwards a little bit. So let's keep our fingers crossed that we do pull something big uh, tomorrow, um, either from the Team of the Week pack. I haven't seen the Team of the Week yet. So um, I'm, hope yeah, I'm hoping for something really, really nice. But thank you very much for watching, boys. Leave a like if you enjoyed that intense game, like crazy. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. And I'll, yeah, see you tomorrow. Team out. Peace.